We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Oh, we are live. Dang. I just started messed up. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. If we are live and you happen to miss it, like now you've missed it right here, this channel is where all the highlights will be. Remember, if you know how to make shorts and you want me to give you permissions to this channel so you can make the shorts and post them, let me know. Let me see some of your work, man. We can work together. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. Just posted Peep Show on there. Peep Show is getting real communal. I don't know what Jess, Jess is on, but you wildin'. <laughs> to each his own. Uh, don't forget, we got the Discord as well, man. Let's get into the, what is this? Oh, pending friends. I didn't click that. <laughs> But let's get into this, man. Police Interceptor Season 23, Episode 25. ...on the front line are Nottinghamshire's finest. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! I'm going to... Let's see. Let's Come get back. into... This is one of the longest intros Come in the up, game, the by the way. Yeah. Uh -huh. ...size bag of uh, uncut gear on the uh, windowsill. Potentially of heroin there. Fast and cement. In Great Britain, there are over 31 million licensed cars on the road. And many more iffy ones, thanks to an attack of the clones. Reports of car cloning have quadrupled in recent years, making it one of the fastest growing crimes. Shirt tight. Get it together. Clone number plates are put on vehicles to hide their identity so that the police can't identify who they are and they can drive around about their business without being recognised. And that can go from anything from someone who's not insured using a number plate of a similar vehicle to hide the identity for the fact that they've not insured the vehicle all the way up to someone in a stolen car hiding its identity to use it for a criminal purpose or to, to sell it on to an innocent buyer. It's early doors on Friday and interceptors Lewis Marshall and James Lenny Bennett are out on patrol at the crack of dawn hoping the early birds catch the clone. You're holding a laptop like a piece of paper, like, chill out. Can I just come in? It, there's a car just on a camera on false plates that is showing a 66 plate and looking at the read, there's no way that's a 66 plate motor. It looks like an old Golf in Annesley. A VW Golf suspected of having cloned plates has pinged an ANPR camera on the other side of the city. Yeah, it's got Uga North. Lewis has blue in his blood. Having followed in the family footsteps to join the force, he's no <coughs> slouch behind the wheel, but he's not blessed with the advanced driver's badge yet. What rear blues are? Just pull up here, car. There's no behind us. Yeah. Uh, police runs in your veins. That's deep in the family tree. So he's handing the hot seat over to Lenny, just in case things get tasty. And it seems like it was the right call. A few miles away, an unmarked unit has just got behind the suspect golf. As the driver sails through a red light, they're spooked by a marked cop car. It looks like he's got something to hide as he boots it big time. Across town, Lenny and Lewis are gunning it to intercept. So it's either going to turn right towards us or going to continue. The fellas have got a stinger in the boot, which, if deployed in time, would shred the golf's tires. Right, right. That automatic license plate system thing that y'all got out there, that, that, hey, the police is up 100 points on y'all with that one. You could not get away. That's it's all. It's almost impossible. At the... Is it coming on head? Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. I'll spin it. It's all about getting your ducks in a row before the target arrives. It's coming this way, and the target is due any moment. 
get ready for uh, Lenny gets into prime position. We're in a waiting, but I don't think we'll get a stinger out. But there's no time to deploy the stinger because the golf is absolutely flying. Yeah, he gone. There he is. Go. Woo! It's crushed. It's crushed. Oh, he hit something. At north of 80 miles an hour, the golf smashes into an innocent van driver. It don't even look like he hit him that hard. He just clipped them, but like at 80 miles an hour? Look at the clip. It's crazy. AMPR, yeah. Get ready. The getaway car has been pulverized by the... You're up with Venom Steel. My bad. I forgot to turn on my um ad block. And as it gasps its last few breaths, we got runners. Four runners chance their luck. Starburst. Game on. Chase and detain. Game on. Why the unmarked car almost hit the police officer? Chase look. and detain. Yeah, my bad. Yes mate, yes mate, yes mate. Interceptors are after the occupants of a Golf they suspect has cloned plates. It's coming this way. Spooked by a marked car, the driver's taken off like a bat out of hell. Where did that saying even coming up came from? Taking off like a bat out of hell, like... There it is. Go. And stacked straight into an occupied van. Crushed. It's crushed, it's crushed! Run it! Four lads have bailed out and taken off in different directions. I've got dogs deployed! Watch out, dog! The driver's got a head start. Put dog, put dog! Yeah! You're not gonna outrun that dog! <laughs> but he'll need a bigger one to outrun police dog Morse. Yes, oh, dogs. Dogs. Oh, dogs got one. Good boy. Back off, back off. Back off. Stop, dogs! <laughs> and of course, one step behind Morse. Oh, please! Stop where you are! There's always Lewis. He's not as quick as the dog, but Lewis is catching the passenger. Stop where you are! On the floor! On the floor! Fast thinking and fancy footwork means two of the four occupants are nicked. Two out of four, that's a 50% chance. You know, it's four of y'all. Two of y'all bound to get away if it's only two officers. On your front! On your front! Lay on your front! The trip back across the estate is a bit of a slower one. What are we? But there's a blue light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, fella, you come with me. When you first picked the vehicle up, officers, there's comments from other officers. They were pursuing the car. It's come past us at a very high speed. Uh, it's putting a lot of people in danger, members of the public, ourselves, to themselves. Uh, it's lost control in the park van. Sparks coming from the vehicle. The uh, vehicle's come to arrest. It's been surrounded by police cars, but it's still got out and ran. Obviously, quite desperate to get away from us. We really don't want to get caught. They could be disappointed because it's hard to hide from a flying police drone. Did they manage to... <laughs> I think I seen a police drone last... Uh, police drone. I think I seen the drone last episode, but like not pulled out of, of, of the trunk. I didn't know they was operating like this. Equipped with a thermal imaging camera. You can't... You literally can't do nothing in the UK. Like, this is crazy. We got one, got one. It doesn't take long to track down number three. I don't want to sound like a grass, yeah, but they picked me up, yeah, from mum's house, yeah, and they drove me, yeah, and they were, they were asking me for money and that, yeah, and all that. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get this straight. You were in the runaway car because you were the victim of a crime. Yeah. 
You thought you're saying you've been kidnapped? Yeah, basically. I, I went back to that car, yeah, and then they, I only asked him for a lift, yeah, because I was like, do you know what you do? You're like, ah, yeah. You've got any weed or something here, they said. Interceptors. Joe, I hope he really got kidnapped and he's not involved in the street life and he's not telling on his boys like this. This is wild. I think the number plates on the Golf were stolen from another vehicle earlier in the day. And what they suspect are its true plates have been found. Shout out to the first time chatter. I do not know what you're saying in the chat, but salute. Found in the boot. Just talking about false plates, aren't we? And like, like the milkman I deliver. The runaway Golf. Dang! Back. But fortunately, the two occupants of the Renault van it crashed into are unharmed. The speed in which it was going around the quality means a 30 road, and I'd say that was doing in excess of 80, 90 miles per hour. I've not seen cars do that, usually do that kind of speed in pursuits and little roads like this, generally. It was like too quick, hence why it's crashed. It's too quick for the roads, too, too quick for the condition of the road. And it's lost control very, very shortly after we've got behind it. Unfortunately, no one's been injured, but you can see how, you know, it's quite evident how dangerous um, that was. But they've exposed themselves to that level of risk. They could all be dead, they're, you know, just young lads. Uh, and they could have two blokes who are going to work in a van. They've hit them at high speed, uh, minding their own business. Uh, for what? For no insurance. The runners were... For no insurance, they tore up the whole Volkswagen, the, 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 the car, um... They tore up the work van. Uh, somebody then grasped on their homies, told the police they was kidnapping them. Like, God damn. Uh, salute to the first time chatters, man. Appreciate y'all joining us. Arrested for failing to stop and for theft of a motor vehicle, but evidential difficulties meant the case was discontinued. Oh, they got up out of there, okay. Serious and organised crime is a plague on society, which costs the UK £37 billion each year. But the interceptors are fighting back. Let's get that door bashed through. Police! Police officers! They use intel to crack criminal networks. Wait, 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 wait. Quick question. Did they... Did they so the police... So that last case with the car thieves, they got away. Like the case was dropped. But who plays for the van? Like the van got to use, like I'm pretty sure the van probably, okay. The van probably had their own insurance and it was like hit and run type of deal. Gotta be. And take weapons and illegal drugs. First time chatter, salute, salute. pounds Off the streets. That's one way of opening the door, isn't it? I'll go then. Just south of Nottingham city centre, Sergeant Mark Southgate is heading up a morning warrant. There's two brothers in the address and uh, both of whom are, the intelligence guests are actively dealing in the area and uh, have a number of people okay, that uh, van is deal with okay. them as well. One of the suspects is thought to be so strong, he's earned the nickname the Hulk. So the team have a plan of action. So the aim is to force entry, get in there as quickly as possible, secure the occupants to make sure that they don't uh, try and dispose of any evidence or try and escape. Once we've got everybody secured, conduct a search of the address looking for evidence. So I don't have my daughter for three weeks. It's a sad, sad time. It ain't sad, you know, she's, she's going to Chicago or whatever. This week is my, not my week to have her. When she's in Chicago, it's her week with her mom. And then when she gets back, she'll still be, she'll, she'll still, like, when she's, wait. Wait, no, 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 no. So I don't have my daughter for until Monday is supposed to be. But she's going to be in Chicago still with her mom. So that's going to be my week. And then when she gets back, it's her mom week again. And I don't want to switch weeks because this, it falls perfectly, like, for events for her and events for me. So she decided to keep the baby for three weeks. So I'm on here for three weeks. <laughs> we didn't Consistent. Good dealing. Y'all might as well sub up. University is all about change. Try a little quick sub up. Sub up. Go ahead. Hey, 
Executing a warrant at Shea Hulk takes Leg tactics. One. Appreciate it. Right, stand by, team. Teamwork. Right, VC leaders in, mate. And timing. Please. A bit of luck doesn't go amiss either. Hulk's left the front door open. Please stop there. Stay where you are. Stay there. Both brothers are upstairs. Get down. One is quickly in cuffs. Get down. Get down. Get down. But the other makes a bolt for his bedroom window. Get down. Stop struggling. Cops pull the lad back onto his bed. Stop fighting. Calm down. Get yours behind your back. One cuff on. And he's getting angry. Get your other arm out. Other arm out. His name is Hulk. That's fitting. You don't want to see Hulk when he's angry. He's not turned green, but he's got super strength. <laughs> Get your arm behind your back now. Get your arm behind your back. You ain't, you ain't escaping, pal. Give it up. Just leave him here. Don't calm down. Hey, just put your arm behind your back. No, it's just up, bro. Why is he called the Hulk? He's skinny. Okay. Is that a strand of, of of class A or something? Finally, the lad throws in the towel and he's cuffed. Yeah, please. Walk down the steps, mate. Put up a put a bit of a struggle there. You can understand why his uh, nickname's the Hawk. They soon spot the telltale signs of dealing. Decent sized bag of uh, uncut gear on the uh, windowsill. Look, this is what I be saying about these criminals that they be catching on police. Dude, these people are so dumb. What kind of criminals is these? Your front door open. You got gear uncut laying on window seals, probably all around your crib. Like, what are you doing? I'm really like, like, is this scripted or something? Like, what's going like on here? Potentially of heroin there. Mobile phones, we've got large knife on the floor there. He got a brick of dog in his window. A, a, a zombie knife on the floor, like. Mark knows this could be just the tip of the iceberg, so he speaks to the Hulk's more sedate sibling. That's a fresh kind of coat there, if I can have a tree. You got gear all over your bed, haven't you? All over my bed. Okay, mate. Suitcase behind the door. Suitcase behind the door, yeah. My feet, is one of my mates, my shit is. Yeah. No, one, of, right. one of my mates' machetes. Now we dry snitching. It's crazy. Jail for this from 20 years old, man. I've had my opportunity to stop. Well, this is thing a bit hard eggs for today. The brothers are like chalk and cheese, but they've got one thing in common. Both bedrooms are littered with drugs. You can see you've got individual wraps, lights and lights and darks on here, which is going to be um, crack and heroin, cannabis. He says he's got cash in there. Bro with the hair was like, we caught. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, ain't no point in, you know. Cannabis, cannabis here, mobile phones. And it's indicated there's a substantial amount of uh, drugs in the drawer there as well. Is this, so, does somebody do a promo in the chat? What is that? Go on, Miles. The brothers Grimm are off to the Nick for questions. Yeah, they're definitely out of here. For some parting words of wisdom from their mum. You've got to stop it. I don't want to be burying you or flipping coming to jail for the next 20 something years because you two want to be videos. I'm sorry. All that's left to do now is search the house from top to bottom. Yeah, yeah, you get the initial entry and the excitement that goes with that, then it's, yeah, knuckle down and uh, work your way through everything, really. The mm -hmm. team uncover more and more evidence, stashes of money, just found a massive wad of, wad of cash, just like that. That way some that does. Weapons of various shapes and sizes. Alright, smoke grenades. Multiple mobile phones. Prepare the phones. I think that's just all these phone numbers. Mostly just dishes them out to people. 412 grid, 355, 620. And other hallmarks of the drug dealer's trade, including a stash of designer gear. They had geography, mathematics going on, everything. W math. 
stuff is still got tags on, so it's going to be stolen items that have been taken from the shops and exchanged by um, users for the controlled drugs. But the biggest fines are multiple bags of suspected Class A drugs. It looks like heroin and cocaine individually bagged up. Probably five, £10 deals. I don't know in there, I would guess. 50. Trapping out your mom's crib is crazy to me. And your mom pretending like she didn't know. Like, I'm not, okay, not, I'm not saying she was pretending like she didn't know. She definitely know what's going on, but at, at a certain point, like, you got to realize, like, dang, OG, my mama, you benefiting off it, so I'm going to let it slide until it blows up in her face. That's what I be thinking. Wait, all the hundreds, hundreds of rats. This is heroin. This is heroin. That's one bulk. It runs with heroin there. Easy. Yes, mate, yeah. How are you getting on? Mark gets news from custody of another discovery. Yeah, that. Which he'll leave to someone else to retrieve. So the lad that's um, kicked off in there, when they've gone to search him at the Bridewell, has uh, been very volatile down there, and he's been found to have items secreted between his buttocks, shall we say. So he's having to be taken down to the Queen Medical Centre there, so that can be... Um, be removed by a medical professional. Bro, <laughs> look at, they broke into your crib and found pounds of everything. What was you putting up your, your crevice that they did not find already in the crib? Like you was trying to stuff all of that up there? So what, you just got a gaping, like, I, all right. Which may go some way to explain why he was so keen on getting away. The intel was bang on. Mark updates control on the search so far. Thousands of pounds worth of cash, hundreds of individual deals, and then bulk amounts. He's talking about 100 grand. We're saying it's indicated it's 100 grand's worth. Yeah, that's what he said. The job is far from over. Mate, that to me would indicate that we have, that we've yet to find uh, a kilo of coke or similar. They have a key in their mom crib? They got, they found a lot of stuff. With the stuff they already found, they're going to jail for at least eight, nine, ten years. But if they find a, a key, a, a key of dog in there, it's crazy. A key of do, dog is H. If they find a key of H or, or white, it's, it's it's over. Because that would have a street value of 100 grand. More than that. He's indicated he's got a substantial quantity of Class A in his bottom drawer, which we haven't got to yet. Without further ado, the team search the bottom drawer. That ain't no key. If you're an independent business, get high. I'm trying to see if that's a key or not. I'm talking about he got a brick of H in his in his mom's house. Like twenty-five dollars like, money. Not only are you putting your mom at risk for like police kicking in the door like now, yeah. but you putting your mom at risk is your ops, your pagans kicking in the door. Somebody trying to hit a lick, like Yeah, looks like looks like heroin. No, nah, that's a lot. It's going to have a big impact on the area, I think. The interceptors have had a successful morning cracking down on drug dealing, but the Sarge knows it's an ongoing battle. It says he's, you know, owes £10,000 debt. So what you've got is, further up, you've got these, these older individuals who will have the jewellery and have the lifestyle through their ill-gotten gains. The young lads, they're going out doing the dealing, so they'll get them into it, promises of, you know, of of money and riches and wealth. Get them dealing, they say, right, now you owe now you owe me X amount of money. And they've then got to work and work and work to pay that off. They've got some nice clothing and bits and bobs, but you know, they're not living a, a lavish a, a lavish Yeah, well they're going to jail. And when they get out they're gonna be in supreme debt. Lifestyle because the money in the end is going further up the food chain. 
They're gonna have to move out of the area completely. As a result of this warrant, both brothers have been convicted of possession with intent to supply the Class A drugs heroin and cocaine. The Hulk was sent down for three years. His little brother was banged up for 32 months. Okay. Three years, 32 months for that much? Okay. The drugs and weapons were wiped off the streets for good. Coming up, the pursuit of a one to watch. It's a quiet Sunday afternoon. I guess I just be overthinking it. Like, because in, in America, you're getting at least seven for all of that. Both of them. The city. Interceptor Katie Eustace is out in the unmarked three series. There's a shout over the radio the interceptors have been waiting for. Hey. I think Katie is my favorite uh, favorite officer out here. She just she just love her job. Like look how excited she gets. Like look at this. car has been spotted nearby and cops believe it's connected to a suspect who's wanted for a high value jewelry theft so we're just seeing if we can see it now we're not too far away probably not native katie joined the force 11 years ago and likes nothing more than taking wanted suspects off her home patch all available units are after the suspected thief it's fair to say that this is a collar that they're desperate to feel. And there's been an update on his whereabouts. An unmarked unit is tailing the motor, but they need more units to help with the stop. Mark definitely had what looked to be a male passenger, female driver. 10-4, I'm Lenton Boulevard, I'll come back to you. If it is the suspect they're after, he might not hang around. Try and get ahead of him. So Katie puts her foot down. Sunday drivers negotiated and she's motoring. Yeah, she has got the foot ball in the ball down. Now I've got no vehicle to cover. Hey, no one, one vehicle behind you. Katie and two other units are in convoy behind the motor. Boy behind the motor. This is an undercover car? This green one right here? Yo. Motor. Are we happy with the flying stop and age? He said in the hill, no vehicles to cover one fly. They need to pick their moment before they strike. Did just throw in a near side indication and then stop again. Speed one five. Looks a dead end. The driver is parking up, but it's still touch and go. Just leave the channel clear now, Jim. It's not sure of it's active. Scrap that, it's go, go, go. Try to run. Let's run it. Mm -hmm. He parked up nice and calmly, got out, ran. Passengers clock the cops and he's out of the blocks. Damon, Damon, Damon! Sam tased them immediately. Out of the blocks. Stay where you are, you'll be tasered. He stopped in his tracks by 50,000 volts. 50,000 to do it. Got one male in cuffs, 135. Come on, get up. Police officer, just stay there, fella, please. What? Sorry, babe. Good agent is the mail. 
<laughs> Who caught him? Them stairs probably gave him a real go. So, it's come to a stop. As they've pulled into the close, he's gone sprinting out the passenger side and up the side of an address. Um, my colleagues have got out, chased after him, and I think he's, he's been tasered. Um, so I've some, some resistance when they've got them. Is Katie sweating? She didn't do anything. She be, I'm telling you, Katie be on go. Like, adrenaline just start pumping through her body and making her sweat. Like, look at this. There. Okay, the suspect is not connected to the address and there's no sign of any stolen jewellery. So the cops turn their attention as to why he was so keen to make it get away. <sighs> I'll ask if you got into his car. They found three wraps of suspected drugs, so he's into the interceptor's bracelets for a trip to the Nick. Hello, mate. You're under arrest for suspicion. The same delicious flavor, ready in just nine. Mahatma Jasmine, Jasmine Rice, Chipotle Jasmine, Garlic Jasmine. I'm not eating none of that. We good. Doing the robbery, and you're also under arrest on suspicion of uh, possession of controlled substances. Yep. It's great, a great result because he's wanted for theft. I believe he's got some drugs on him as well, so uh, he'll have to be interviewed about that. So he'll not be going anywhere for a while. He'll be stuffing in the, the bridewell for a bit. <laughs> The runaway suspect has been summoned to court for burglary and three counts of possession with intent to supply. The female driver did not face any legal action. Brick, wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? Set up in 2017, the Knife Crime Team are a group of interceptors dedicated to tackling knife crime, which they believe often goes hand in hand with illegal drugs. With their motor spick and span, they hit the road. Lee Armstrong's behind the wheel and he's joined by Dan Mottishaw. Lee's been part of the team since its inception. When he's not reeling in bad guys, he dabbles in deep sea fishing off Whitby. But firmly on dry land, they're casting the net. My bad, I had to get that off the screen. <laughs> in the inner That's scene. wild. Oh. We've got a few cars out, looking out for things that seem out of place, doing intel checks on vehicles that we don't think look quite right. In no time, a passing Ford Fiesta catches their eye. So why? Yeah. They spin around to get a closer look. Turn one on Church Lane, two up. It's left, left, left now towards Airworth. Lee just about manages to keep the target in his sights. He's going right, right, right. Yeah, he's gone right. He's doing what I think Longsdale Road into uh, Brixton, London Estate. Navigating their bulky Volvo around the maze of small residential streets. He's gone. Where is it? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Interceptors struggle to keep eyes on the Fiesta. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be a further stop. For sure. They're back on track, but not for long. Uh, Where's he gone? Gonna have it. Go for I don't think I've never seen nobody get away. He must have gone right then. But this is the one that got away. It's a lost, lost van from Peter's Street at the moment. Police then caught an ill? I'm on the offside. By the time we spin this tank around. Yeah. It must have turned right. It must have done. However, interceptors don't give up that easily. So Clearly. Into the maze to hunt for the Fiesta. So where do you think? Uh, the only thing, because he had to have come down there, I think he must have gone. Straight on. Those two are paying a bit of attention. Dan notices two men on a side street. Well, I don't know if they were. I don't. I don't know, mate. They just seem to be paying a lot of attention. That's. I just saw them. I need to find the car. Damn, you can't even. It's not far from where they would have dumped it. You can't even pay attention to your surroundings around the police. Like, uh, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying not to lack out here. I can't look around. The unit is on hand to keep track of the two lads. They're paying attention to us. They're not running or anything. It's just to uh, keep an eye on them. Can't be positive if it was them in the vehicle. Meanwhile, Dan and Lee hope retracing their route will lead them to the Fiesta. So that's where we've come down. We've come down this one. We've come down this one. Right, so... So it's either they've gone right and they've managed to shoot out in front of a car and we haven't seen them, or they've cut down there. So they've definitely turned down here, but we looked and I'm pretty sure it wasn't down there. But it's definitely made this corner because this is where we saw them. As they narrow down the search area... Ain't that it? They find the car parked up. <laughs> Locked up and with no sign of the driver or his mate. So potentially could have been them two. Mate, it could have been. It's not too far from where they were. I'm not even gonna lie, he I feel like he's reaching a little bit. That that, that was a long drive from where they seen them at. Or am I tweaking? Was that not a long drive? Gap receiving. It's potentially those two lads, mate. Can you just come and like kind of be in his head? One of them side fits back of where they're doing the building. Lee and Dan cast off to land the lads they saw earlier. They do match descriptions of the two males that were in the vehicle. Uh, we just need to try and catch up with them and see if it, it is those. Like key. Got a key for the vehicle, anything on the shunt tab? There they are, look. It's time for the interceptors to finally make their acquaintance. Yeah. Hey, well, lads, you all right? You had to stop there for a second. We've just had an incident with a vehicle, the Fiesta. Yeah. Right, okay. You made off for us, mate. I didn't make off right. right. to get some KFC. Mate, I'm just going to put some cuffs there. on you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just out here trying to get some chicken. What you mean? And and I'm telling hey, these these police officers right here is reaching. You see what I'm saying? You made off on us. No, I didn't. Y'all didn't see no lights. Shout out to uh, Sig Bake. Man, top tier one subscriber. I appreciate you, Jangy. Um, but like they did not run. No lights were on. Y'all was just trying to get behind them and run plates. They parked, got out and went for some KFC. Simple. Just give me hands. Just give me hands. He's being detained for the purpose of a search. All right. Someone smells the cannabis as well. A name check confirms Dan's got hold of the driver. You can't got a key on him. It's inside. Let me go inside. Which house is it in? My well, mum's house. The team need to check nothing has been hidden in the car. So Lee pays a visit to the house to collect the car key. You're not coming in my house, mate. Grab a seat. Leaving Dan to get the driver's story. I don't get what this is all about. You didn't even, you didn't even put your lights on the road. I know, I know exactly where he was from. He was from KFC, I know that. We spawned, but you didn't put the lights on. So I'm going to where I'm going. I've just finished work, just getting some food. Mm. I'm hungry. Straight up, for real. If, if you don't put no lights on, how am I running from you? What are you talking about? I believe this dude, because his house is right here, KFC is right here. Like, what's going on here? And I've come here to see my friend for a bit. Mm -hmm. That's it. No problem. Over at the house. They're not shutting now, just... Eagle-eyed Lee spots more than just a car key. What about the reef on the table? That gives us a power of entry now, buddy. You can't switch my house. Well, I could do if you're under arrest. That's my house, and I like to switch. No, well, not in your house, no, because it's illegal to possess cannabis, isn't it? Oh. All right. I didn't know that. Yeah. You learn something new every day. With the lad now under... Shouldn't even have took them to your house. ...under arrest for possession of cannabis. They just, they just, they just... They just got you. I'm talking about in the house. Nah. Now they're searching your whole crib, tearing stuff up. have the power to search the property. Cannabis. And they weed out plenty of greenery. Jim's going to explain what's going to happen. Well, I've completed that search, which I'm, I'm satisfied with. My colleagues are satisfied with that. So now you, you're de-arrested. Yeah. But you will you will be reported for the consideration of question of prosecuting you for being in possession of cannabis today. Oh, well, I will have to go to court. You will, yeah. Because the size of that, we have recovered. Probably an ounce of cannabis. Uh, he's admitted that cannabis is his and nobody else's. Like, like my mum will tell you because she told me to stop the robot. You don't know, actually understand how deep this. I've been stabbed twice. I know, twice mate. Time. We're the knife crime team, right? We're trying to prevent stabbings, all right? Yeah. So by this, drugs and knives come hand in hand, all right? He will be reported for court. Eh. 
I, in my eyes, I still don't like marijuana. Is not like it ain't that deep because this is so legal here in America. But I get it over there, I guess. For that offence, um, and I've had a quiet word regarding drugs and knives. Dan, you can uh, take the brakes off the other lad. Yeah, buddy definitely walked into this one. The passenger reported for possession of a Class B drug received no further action, but his cannabis was seized. Nothing was found during the search of the driver's car, and no legal action was taken against him. Right, drugs they and say knives go on. Never sleeps. Every day, in Nottinghamshire, the police tackle nearly a thousand incidents. And that means an early start. It's the dark hours of Monday morning. Where is it, do you know? Towards the Norwich, Danny. And Lisa DeSantis and Lewis Marshall are keeping Oh, I got Lisa. The fail to stop that's cutting through Baseford. Is it close? Yeah. A thief has struck at a building site a few miles away and fled the scene with some extra large loot. We're just about to turn on to War Road, mate, so we're not be uh, chill off. Where am I going? All right. Lisa's a fitness fanatic who does CrossFit to keep in shape. But this morning, it's all about... We can tell Lisa draws strong as hell. She looked like she... She, she looked like she lived weights. ...to work out for the trusty right foot, which is in fine form. <laughs> she... Nothing wrong with a strong jaw. Let me say that first and foremost. But, it, you know, you could just tell. ...puts pedal to the metal. Where left, am I going? Left, 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 left. And straight over. Get going up. Buckle up. Another unit are behind the runaway thief. <laughs> no, we're not in slow motion. <laughs> this thief's getaway motor is the digger they've just nicked. Despite only tickling three miles an hour on the speedo. This could do serious damage in the wrong hands. It tips the scales at five tons. Interceptors. This this is this is class A crackhead behavior. Bro broke into the and took the digger though? Like you got to be off of something. You tearing up the ground, everything. Like what's going on? Let's confront the fugitive on foot, but he tells the cops to leave him alone. An officer is forced to use his baton to smash the window. But unbelievably, the driver's digging in his heels and refuses to stop. Heavy machinery like this is sometimes stolen by criminals to commit serious crimes like ATM thefts. But this one won't be making any withdrawals. The dipstick from the digger is nicked. Then he tried to take him on a low speed, speed low speed police chase. Like, what are you doing? Now they gotta break the digger. The windows is broke on the digger. Like, come on, man. Who you thought nobody was gonna call the police or nothing? Lisa and Lewis arrived to dig up the truth about the world's worst getaway. Pal, is this yours? This JCB. Hey? No. No? Whose is it? I don't know. Right, how have you got hold of it? So I've been the driver. Who has? Somebody who I'm in debt to. In you in debt? Someone hit me in the side of the end of the day. I'm a brass. I do own some money. Oh dear. They're not Where wrong. Taking it to? Allegedly. We well, are. Yeah. Right. The heavy machinery has been hot wired, so the interceptors can't move it safely out of the road. I don't know how we're going to get it recovered. I don't know what they are. They do it. Seemingly eager to please, the digger thief makes them an offer they definitely can refuse. Mm. Oh yeah. Here we are. <laughs> You're going to go with these officers, all right? Oh, God, that wind's horrible. It's biting, look, isn't it? It's chilly out, but the driver has plenty of layers on. And they're not thermals. Stab proof vest? Yeah, stab proof vest. Are you off your head on something? No. Is this it? 
<laughs> hey, Lisa looked baffled. Look at Lisa's face. <laughs> she looks baffled at what's going on right now. No. Out in your pockets down here. Huh? Nothing. How come you got stab proof vest on? You going to war or something? No. Y'all got a whole knife crime unit. He don't want to be stabbed. Why you? <laughs> don't ask stupid questions, Lisa. You know why. Okay, mate, jump in then. The only place he's going is the Nick. A bit faster than three miles an hour. And the offences keep rolling in. It's this squad. Driving, this squad drive? Yeah. Oh, mate, you got a full shebang. Bro. All right. We've arrived, obviously, when cops have detained him, but he's saying um, that somebody's made him nick it. Um, he's got full stab vest on, um, ski mask, everything. It's just odd. Odd. <laughs> She's baffled. The stab-proof kid dug himself a big hole. He was convicted of stealing the JCB and failing to stop. He received a seven-day suspended prison sentence and was banned from driving for six months. Very lenient, sis. Very, very lenient, uh, very lenient sentence. Still to come. Let's get false plates, bit. Do you know? I just swear, but... No. A roadside Romeo makes his best of a brush with the law. Oh, no. You'd be asking me on a date, won't you? No. I, uh, I think I've made a new friend. Earn your degree anytime. I don't blame, dude. I'm any place with industry leading techno. Katie seemed, you know what I'm saying? Like she like co Comic Con or something. Like she go dressed as Zelda or somewhere or something. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she sounds like one of them type. And we can get behind that. Interceptors are always on the lookout for cars using false plates. But to flush them out, they often rely on information from the public. A lot of the time that the number plate cloning comes to light is that people have the number plate stolen. They will get random speeding tickets through that aren't for their, where, they, where they live, or they get parking tickets through, bus lane camera tickets. And they think, hang on a minute, I've never been to Nottingham. I live in Cornwall or I live in the north of Scotland. And then we do some more investigation into it and it turns out that this car is actually a clone. And then we're going to try and track the car down using AMPR in our vehicles and try and uh, find out who's doing it and get the car off the road. I'm telling you, that, that AMPR is crazy. Another dynamic duo who've also set their sights on fighting the attack of the clone cars are Katie and her sergeant Matt Reddington. Oh, look on. Attacking the clone cars. AMPR, AMPR. Yeah. Right, we're in. We're in AMPR. Matt's laptop is linked to traffic cameras across the county. It's not long until they get a hit. So he has the power to monitor him through in the car on his laptop. This VR in use on another vehicle, same description but older model, caught on speed camera knobs. Coming towards. Coming towards. Uh, not again. Yeah. So there's a van that's activated the cameras that's potentially on false plates. It's uh, inbound towards the city, so hopefully we'll be able to cut it off because we're not too far from the camera. The clone plates have come to light because the registered keeper has disputed a flurry of speeding tickets. It's potentially coming this way, though. Yeah. I'll uh, tuck in behind the learner. Katie and Matt get into the best position to intercept. Left and after, I think. Yeah, I think it's out. We would have beaten it, definitely. The ban last triggered a camera two minutes ago. It should pass them any second now. It could have been melted. Uh, what was that? Yeah. That's it. That's crazy accurate. Bro, they can map out where you're going. You thought you stand no chance. Once you pinged by one of them, it's just, a, it's just, at that, after you get pinged by a, a, the camera, it's like, 
All we gotta do is wait you out. You're not getting away. It's over. And H, we've got that van. Alpha to row inbound. One white male occupant. This could be the genuine van, but if it's the cloned one, they're prepared for a sharp getaway. We're now directly behind the vehicle, still Alpherton Road inbound. Time to see if it's the real McCoy. Right, we'll go for a stop. Yeah, received. We'll go for a stop. Now, a flash of the blues. Now, for real, y'all got CCTV, y'all got ANPR, y'all got, y'all got, y'all got, uh, what, what was that they sent in the air? The, 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 the Andrew, the, the little thing. What is that called again? I'm drawing a blank right now. The thing uh, with the thermal imaging from the beginning of the video. Y'all got them. Yeah, y'all got police drones. Like, what is going on? Y'all want zero crime over there. And I, hey. got near side indication. And white van man pulls up as good as gold. Not the sign of an iffy driver. Might be the genuine. You're right, pal. This van, very similar description. Uh, another van's being used with your number plates on it. Have you stopped no, me? This is mine, mate. Oh, no, no, I, I, believe, I know, I believe you. I'm just saying we need to just check it. Yeah, check check the VIN number on it. It's my mate's one, I don't know. Is it? Choose it from time to time. Yeah, yeah. Nate's just passed the uh, last four of the VIN. Katie asks Control to check the unique vehicle identification number connected to this number plate. He's acting suspicious. As soon as you get to blaming the vehicle on being somebody else's. That's not the uh, last floor of the van we've got. And quickly establishes this is the dodgy van. Things aren't looking good for the driver. Fella, just took us your key for yeah. it. We've got key. Alright, Tom. Yeah, I'll just the my keys off then. Well, what do I get? Hey, license on you. Um, yeah, you got one? No. I'm just provisional. I just do a little scrap, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, what they done? What? What's he got on there? Is it's it not the wrong plate? number plates, yeah. No. What? It's not the number plates. I've been driving it for about two weeks. Yeah. yeah. It's come well, up on our system because it's done the speed. Loads, it's done speed cameras loads of times as well. It's done the what? It's done been doing speed cameras. The driver may not believe it. Look at that. That looks. Yeah. Would you question that? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. To be fair. But false plates are false plates. The van will be seized. Up in, up in front of the car. Just say it's been cold and wet, doesn't it? Right. So he's, uh, he's borrowed it off his friends. Cold and wet, doesn't it? Up in, up in front of the car. Just say it's been cold and wet, doesn't it? Katie, you can't trick me with the terminology you're using. I'm grown. You could have used some different words than that. And the smile is like front seat. Like, get in the back, dude. Like, what you, you know what I'm saying? So he's, uh, he's borrowed it off his friends. So he says. Uh, and he's not aware that it's on false plates. He's also not got a driving license and he's not on the insurance as well. He's been interviewed, interviewed for it now, anyway, under caution. So uh, we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll see. We'll see, um, we'll see what he has to say. You um, haven't been dark in long, then, have No. I've bumped into you before. No. Katie gets going with the interview. So, was your driver of a white Vauxhall combo today at 14.30 hours on Alfreton Road, Nottingham? Was your driver? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know when you go out on your provisional licence, you're meant to have L plates and be supervised? No. I thought you'd just get someone in no. and off you go on your jolly. No, you have to have. Were you being supervised today? By you two, yeah, behind me. Well, let's do it. <laughs> and Romeo's got one or two questions of his own for Katie. Well, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, Katie definitely going. I'm telling you, she might hook, she might hit him up. She might get his number from the paperwork. Well, they don't be them this job, does that? No, not making a standing call. Oh, my, that's not my other half. No, you don't do this job. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's not my other half. No, you don't do this job. Ah. Oh. <laughs> They say flattery can get you everywhere, but it won't get you off. No, hold on. I've got to do false plates a bit. Do you well, know... I even swear that. No, because it's going to go to our compound. We're going to take pictures of it. Are you aware it's on false plates? No. No. I thought it was all 
in order. Ed, look at the reg line. It's got the box all wrote on it and everything. He's lost the van, but he's not given up on winning the charm offensive. Right, so I need you to sign the bottom of that one. Just do the bottom of every page for us. So. I'll be in a minute. Oh, no. You'd be asking me on a date, won't you? That's it. Well, they're half a kill me, though. Yeah, come on, big man. Hey, he said, well, I'm bigger than him. She laughed. Hey, that's disrespectful. I hope her partner didn't watch this, her other half. Like, that, that's clear. For, you damn near cheating, Katie. You cheating. Cheers, my dear. Oh. Cool. All right, you take care of yourself. <laughs> Talking about take care of yourself. I, uh, I think I've made a new friend. I think you decided... I think you made a new s s sneaky link. <laughs> if flirt with me would mean that I wouldn't take his van away, which suddenly is backfired on him because I took his van away. But at least he's not trying to drive off from us, which is a change. The driver was summoned to court for driving whilst disqualified, driving without insurance, and fraudulently using a vehicle registration mark. But the case was discontinued at court. It's something about Katie that we don't know. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Katie, if you're watching, click the link in my description. It'll lead you to my Instagram. We could talk. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone. I call that reactionary.